Today, I want to show you a trick that can save you even more time to create animations even quicker. Let's get started. So if you're like me, you knew about Character Animator because you wanted to create animations very quickly and easily. Perhaps you didn't have any background in animation and you didn't want to learn Adobe After Effects or Blender or any complicated piece of software. And Character Animator is a great option because it offers you to use your webcam in order to create your animation. It recognizes the movement that you make in real time to animate your characters, which sounds really good. But once you get to use this feature, you discover that it's not precise at all. It can give you a lot of headaches and you have to fix a lot of things later in the production. So what I started to do was using my mouse and I would drag the movements and the poses into my characters. And I discovered that this is a great solution because it gives you perfection and it gives you the consistency that you need in your animations. But the problem with this method is that it is very slow. So I learned this trick that I'm about to show you and it is called the rest pose. So this is a little character that I created in character animator. This is character animator in the screen. And you know, he's an owl and he can move his wings like this. If you drag his wings with the mouse, uh, you can create poses for him. And uh, let me show you a very simple animation that I just created. And he moves his wings like this. Uh, I just press play and he does this. That's my animation. But as you can see, there are some problems here. And there are moments where his wings disappear. And that is something that you don't want in your final animation. So let me explain to you what happens. Uh, this is the timeline. And as you can see, you have little blocks here. These blocks are layers and each layer corresponds to a part of his body. And he's in, in this case, uh, you know, both of his wings. And these blocks contain information of the position that your character has in that specific body part. So the problem of his wings disappearing is that there are certain uh, empty gaps that you need to fill in. And, you know, the way that I animate is, uh, you know, in certain positions of time, I would create poses for him. So I move his wing, for example, like this, and then I press command two, which is the shortcut to create a, a block or a layer with the information of the body part that I just moved. So, for example, I just created this and then I would have, you know, something like this. And I would use the same command two, And then I would have this. But in this empty gaps, you lose the, the wings. So what I would have to do later is to fill these gaps with a position. You know, I wanted this position to be the one where he rests. And I would have to create this, uh, you know, every single time, or, you know, I would, you know, command C to copy this. And then I would paste it here with uh, command V. And then I would drag this, you know, all over the place. And then I missed, you know, certain layers. And I would have to do this, you know, over and over again. But a very simple trick with this is one that I call the rest pose. And the way that you do this trick is in the beginning of your animation process, you're going to set up the rest pose. And the rest pose is a position that your character always goes back to. You have to create first the position or the rest pose. In my case, I want him to do this. And then you're going to press command two and it's going to create the blocks or the layers necessary. And what you're going to do is you're going to spread this until the end of the timeline. And basically what you created is a platform that you can animate on top of. So you're going to create the movements on top of this. So for example, I want him uh, to raise this little wing right here. I drag, you know, his wings the way that I want. And then I'm going to press command two. And as you can see, it's going to create the layer on top of the layer that I just created. And this way, I can just drag it across however length of time that I desire. When this layer ends, you always go back to the, the rest pose. And this way, you can save a lot of time because you don't have to create the rest pose time and time again. You know, you don't have to repeat that process. You only set it once. 
and then you have, like I say, a base or a, or a platform that you can animate on top of. So this saves a lot of time. So I have found that animating is a matter of workflow and how you set things for yourself in order to work. So implementing tricks like this can save you a lot of time and you can have more fun animating. See you next time.